King James Bible says in Revelation chapter 13, beginning in verse 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six, six, six. Mark of the beast. Seemed kind of fanciful for a long time to a lot of people, but now it doesn't anymore. Now with all the talk of central bank digital currencies that's coming out, an executive order just passed here in America by Joe Biden, and they're talking about we need to start testing the central bank digital currencies. The bankers want to know what you're spending your money on. They want to know everything. Um, we've had our own personal experiences with our bank. Uh, we purchased, my wife will purchase some things on Etsy sometimes from a seller in another country. And all of a sudden, phone rings, fraud detection center. We've, we've locked up your card. You're not, your card won't work right now until we get this whole thing cleared up. Did you authorize this transaction? You say, well, that's for your protection. It's for your protection. I can take care of my own finances, thank you very much. I don't want the bank to do that. And it's always, yes. Okay, we've released your card and whatever else. They're locking up my card. And there was actually a time we ordered and we left right after my wife ordered. They called. I didn't even know that there was anything wrong. I went to the grocery store, tried to buy groceries, and I was using my debit card that day. Didn't have the cash with me. Went to pay. Cards rejected. What in the world's going on? Thankfully, I carry enough backup cash with me, so I thought, well, I don't really like to go into the emergency cash stuff that I use, but here we go. Got it out, and I was able to pay for my groceries. But, you know, they're already doing it. They're already locking up people's bank accounts. But here's the thing. Is there a way that we can fight the central bank digital currencies? Because... It's going to be a loss of freedom when they bring these things out. How can you fight central bank digital currencies? I'm going to give you uh, six different things that I think would be a smart thing to do. And I want this video to get out there. I'd like the International Monetary Fund people and some of the other big banker people to understand that we are planning to fight you. We're not okay with your central bank digital currencies. People in the government, IRS, whoever, I'm a preacher of righteousness and I'm going to stand against your satanic system. You need to let people alone. Okay, the Constitution here in America says that nothing but gold and silver coin is to be used in payment of debts, both public and private. So we're already well beyond that with the Federal Reserve notes, which are fraudulent. Federal Reserve, you know, accounting unit device, fraud. Uh, first thing that we can do as Christians, if you're saved, you can pray against the wicked system, the central bank digital currency, because it's a precursor to the mark of the beast. Just say, Lord, please help them to you know, slow them down. Please help them not to bring this thing out. Um, because if they do, they're going to hook it up to social credit scores like they did in China. And then if you're bad, if you've done certain things and we don't like what you're doing, then you get put on a list and, oh, hey, my card doesn't work. I can't buy or sell because I don't have the CBDC. Number two, number two try to use physical cash as much as possible. Okay. When you're going out to a grocery store or whatever else, try to use physical cash as much as you possibly can. That's very important. Um, number three, do not use self-checkouts at the cash registers. There's this thing, it's a, you go over there and you do your own scanning and you pay with your own card and whatever else. Don't use those things. Uh, make it very plain. I want to have a person that I can look at and talk to and whatever else and things. I want to have them. There's those people and the, you know, whatever you call the things, not autonomous, but the, the you know, self-checkout things. No, I don't want to use that. I'd, I'd come like to actually talk to you. All right. If you own a store, number four here, if you own a store, offer discounts for those who pay in cash, like a 3% discount or something. And here'd be an even better one offer an even better discount if somebody pays with gold or silver coins. I've actually heard of stores doing that. I remember seeing an ad on Craigslist the one time. You buy things through Craigslist too, by the way. You have to pay in cash in most cases. Um, you know, keep Craigslist going. Keep the thing of buying and selling between people, low, you know, private 
citizens and things like that using cash. Um, but I actually saw something the one time a guy said, you can come in and you can pay for these items with gold and silver coins. And I'll give you a really good discount. So that's smart. You know, I know that there are some pawn shops. Uh, check in to see if there's any pawn shops in your area and they might accept precious metal coins as payment for things. See if you can do that. And it, like I said, if you have a store, say, hey, we'll give you a discount if you pay with cash. I, I mean, we actually go to a gas station up in Holton that they don't even have a, a card reader or whatever else. I mean, you can go inside and pay with your card or something, but out there at the pump, you push the gas you want, you put the thing in your vehicle and you pump the gas and you go and you pay in with cash. That's why we go there. Number five, barter, if at all possible. Trade things. See if you can get into that, trading things with people. Again, you can start out at a pawn shop and go from there. Um, and you can even go to local farm stands and things like that and see if there's anything that you could barter, you know, trading firewood for produce or something like that, or, hey, I made these things, could I trade? Or, you know, there's different things that you can do that with. Open markets and things too, like that would be a great thing. And if they institute the thing of a central bank digital currency, that might be the only option. Trading with other people that are saying, no, not going to be part of the system. Um, another thing that you can do, number six, insist on paying bills through the mail and not online. I want a paper bill through the mail and I'm going to pay it with a check, a bank check. Can't send cash through the mail, I get that, um, you know, to pay a bill or something. Um, I get it. But, you know, you can certainly um, pay using a check, a written check instead of just, oh, it's automatically deducted from my bank account or something like that. Eh, get more people out of the system. I actually just saw a video yesterday about a lot of people are switching from smartphones to dumb phones, you know, the old uh, phones like the flip phones that you open up and there's, there's, they're not connected to the Internet. You know, you can't get online or anything with them. Um, I'm not for cell phones at all, but if you have a cell phone, you know, smartphone, well, you'd be smarter off to go back to a dumb phone. Um, can't do a, uh, you know, COVID pass or whatever else on a flip phone that I know of. So more and more people need to start to rebel against modern technology, in other words. And just let the governments know, mm, no, we're not ready for central bank digital currencies. No, sorry. Our job as Christians, especially, is we're supposed to, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. We're supposed to hinder the Antichrist system, push it back. Say, no, not on our watch. We don't want that. I'm going to pay with cash. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't pay with cash here in your store? Okay, then I'll take my business elsewhere. Thank you. Walk out. So that's going to be it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.